Hi, welcome to UnleashYourTennis.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to share with you the steps that I use to teach the two-handed backhand to my students. Without further ado, let's jump into today's lesson. Before I start explaining the ideas of a two-handed backhand, let me first demonstrate how does a two-handed backhand looks like. Right, now we have seen how the two-handed backhand is done. Let me explain to you how to achieve this two-handed backhand shot. First of all, you have to have the big idea that the two-handed backhand is driven by your non-dominant hand. Alright, just imagine that you are going to play a forehand shot using your non-dominant hand. For me, I'm a left-hander, so my non-dominant hand is my right hand. Okay? So for the first practice that you're going to use, you're going to do is to practice hitting a forehand with your non-dominant hand. Okay? And before you do that, I want you to choke up, right? Hold the racket at the top of the handle with your non-master hand. Okay? And practice hitting a couple of forehand shots using your non-master hand. Have a look. This is your first drill. Alright, so I'm using my non-master hand to practice hitting a forehand shot. So my preparation will be similar to how I hit a forehand. Backswing, racket pointing to the fence, drop, contact and follow through. One more. Backswing, drop and follow through. Once you have the idea of using your non-dominant hand to hit a forehand using the, by holding the racket at the top of the handle, now I want you to add your master hand to the bottom of the handle. And where you should hold, your master hand should be holding the continental grip of the racket. By holding this way, your master hand is now giving you the support that you need for the two-handed backhand. The whole idea is still to drive the shot with your master hand. Okay, so let me take let me demonstrate to you. Okay, so forehand with your non-dominant hand. Once I drop the ball, I'm going to add my master hand to the racket and drive the shot. One more, prepare the racket, okay, drop, one more, so when you're doing it alone, you can try this method, pull with your non-master hand, after you drop the ball, you can add on the master hand, to drive the shot. If you have a partner, you can get a partner to drop the ball for you and you can just hold the racket with your two hands and drive the shot. Once you are familiar with this swing path, the next stage is to face the net and simulate as if you are going to play with your partner. Alright, so in this drill, what I'm going to show you is you're going to start with facing the net, all right? And then imagine the ball is coming to your backhand side. You're going to turn your shoulder to where the ball is coming, all right? Once you identify the ball, I want you to step in with your leg and drive the shot, okay? The next thing is 
when I'm turning the shoulder, you can see that my racket is going towards the back fence. Okay, so as you turn the shoulder, you are preparing the back swing. Okay, then followed by the step in and drive. Let me show you a few balls and you know what I mean. Okay, shoulder turn, drive. Okay, shoulder turn, step in, drive. One more. Shoulder turn, step in, and drive. The next stage is to track your follow through. For beginners, I can understand that because you are making a conscious effort to put the ball over. So most of the time, many beginners player will tend to just do a half swing. Okay, you do something like this. Right? So, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Do the follow through by swinging the racket at the ball and finish the racket up high. You can see that my elbow is actually pointing towards my target. So I repeat, finish the shot with a high follow through, like this. One more. So to summarize today's lesson, to learn the two-handed backhand shot, first remember the driving hand is your non-dominant hand. Okay, so my recommendation is during your warm-up with your friend, Okay, hit a couple of sh forehand shots using a non-dominant hand. Okay, you can hold the racket up here, okay, by holding the top part of the handle, and then play a few shots, a few forehand shots with your partner. Next, add your master hand as a supporting hand, all right, and practice driving the shot with your two-handed backhand. Third, Check your follow through. Okay, after you finish the shot, check that your finish is high, your elbow is up. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and find valuable information to help you in your tennis. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will get the latest updates when my new lessons come along. I would also like to encourage you to sign up to become a Unleash Your Tennis member. Simply go to my website www.unleashyourtennis.com and sign up to become a member. You will get free bonuses when you sign up. That's all from me. Thanks for watching.